good morning, good afternoon, good evening from whatever part of the world you are watching me. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. On this video, we'll give you a basic idea how you can reupholster that sports seat. Some people call it sports seat. Some people call it a doom baggy seat. And on this video, we'll show you how you can make a new cover. I am not going to show you 100% the whole process, but I will show you 90% how you can do it. I recommend you to make a template. It's very important, especially if you don't have enough material or if you are using expensive material. You see that part on the headdress? It have a hole, right? You can see it. I put a notch on the top. And I put glue. I made templates. Same thing over there. I cut a material. I uh, place it with glue. And... I made out of the chipboard this template that will be the insert will be out of sway and you can see it right there it is so easy especially when you're going to make a lot of seed i recommend you to make templates i already had this piece this will be out of vinyl and you can see I already give the for the seam allowance the extra same thing with this piece the thread that i will use will be a t270 it's a very thick thread Always when I'm going to use this uh, kind of thread, I have to adjust my machine. And when I'm done with it, I have to uh, adjust it to a regular thread. You can see I already cut all those pieces out of the vinyl. I'm going to show you something here. I know uh, most of you already know it, especially if you have been working on this tray. I bet you, you already know this process. Bet you. In this cover, I will use a half inch thickness foam, quarter of an inch, and in that part, what is on that around, I am not going to put foam. I am not going to put padding. Sometimes when you add padding on that part, it creates a lot of wrinkle. So that's what I am not going to use padding. And sometimes I use a 1A thickness foam for that part, 1A but I'm not going to use it. I prefer not to put a padding on that part. There are some exceptions when you have to put a, a padding or phone on that part. But believe me, some people put phone in there. All depend the kind of material you are using it. All depend the kind of material. If it, the material that, are, that you are using is stretch a lot, I recommend you to put padding on it. But if it doesn't stretch, don't put padding. Something that I want to point out right here on that area right there, a lot of seed come with plastic or chrome. And this customer have a lot of seed like this, and all of them are with Velcro, except this one. So I will be uh, putting with Velcro. To be honest, it is easier to put it with Velcro right there. Um, some seed come with zipper too. But he don't want zipper, he want with velcro. So you have to spend some time cutting that part. You see this template? I made it at a chipboard. A lot of people uh, use uh, clear plastic or use a uh, scratch material. I use a chipboard. And now you already had that piece out of way. And you can see him on there. There is that piece. You can see that thread from far away. It is so thick. T270. That is the design. You might be asking right now, what kind of phone do you put? Because I see it, that stitch it doesn't sunk in. You can see it. Well, I saw that piece with the 1A thickness phone. And then I added another layer or oh, quarter of an inch thickness foam. That you can see it. That's why you see it. That stitch just on top. Doesn't sink. And now you already cut that top piece. I already cut all those pieces. I am not going to show you how you can cut it. No. I show you the templates. This is the top piece in there. I made those holes exactly where they are. And I put a lot of notches. Very important to put those marks. And then you already have this piece. 
that black piece is bigger than is the same size as the other one because I already give for the same allowance. And I had that piece too. You can see him on there. I already give the same allowance. Same thing, and right there will be sway. And I will show you the back part. I already have it in there. Spend time, guys, when you are going to cut this kind of seed. Making sure that template fit perfectly. So I go, like I said before, I'm going to put Velcro right here. And this is the Velcro that I am using one inch width. You can see I cut them on there. That is the corner. Those notches mean a corner. And this will be all around that part. You have to cut them exactly. If you cut that piece longer or if you cut shorter, you will be in trouble. Make sure that template fit in there perfectly. Then I will put a stitch right here. And I will do the same right here. I already sew some pieces. Like I said, I'm not going to show you that whole process, but I am giving you a big idea how you can make it. Okay. Now we'll put this one in there. Just cut, trim a little bit right here, and I put it right there. And you see me, right? I didn't put Velcro the whole way. I cut it. Where you see those notches. Why do I cut it? Why that part doesn't have Velcro? Because it will fall. It will create a corner. And I want it like that. If you don't cut off, if you put Velcro all the way, it won't do that. Believe me, it won't do that that Velcro will create a big wrinkle. So this one already have the extra for the same allowance. Same thing with this one. It's the same thing. This is the pattern, the template, and you can see it. The front piece is wider than the piece that are going on the back. Those notches, it has to match. And already have that for the same allowance. Very important, that part. Very, very important. So now I'm going to sew in uh, the both end. I give half inch for the same allowance, but I will trim leaving like that. See? Same thing with this piece. And I got both pieces. The one where it's going to be on the front and the one where it's going to be on the back. Now, I'm only going to show how you can sew one piece. This is the front. Because why I know it is the front? Because it's wider. With plastic, is the easier way to uh, cover that part. But this customer don't want plastic. He don't want zipper either. He want me to put Velcro in there because he have a lot of seed with Velcro. So very important. Those notches, it has to be exactly on the corner if you want it move like a quarter of an inch away from the corner, it will affect. So make sure. See right there where it's that notch? The needle, I stab the needle in there. Then I keep moving, sewing around, slow. This part requires time. So, take your time. If it's a piece, you have to stretch a little bit, a little bit. Do it. 
but don't do it too much because it will create a wrinkle and you don't want a wrinkle on that area right there. The machine that I am using is a console 226. It's an old machine. But I like it because it is easy to adjust when I uh, put uh, this kind of thread. The other machine, it only take that uh, 210 uh, thread. No matter what I do to adjust it, only take that 210. And then I just Flipper, something right here that I recommend you to do is make those cuts in the corner. And you can trim a little bit that excess material, believe me. It will affect the cover. Just trim it a little bit. I sew one piece. I'm going to sew all the other pieces. But I'm not going to show you how you can do it. i just show you one. There it is. So then I will start sewing the rest of those pieces. This is the right side. First, I'm going to start with this one. That is at a sway. And there it is. You can cut it or you can leave it like that, the excess material. Then this one go right here. If you are going to uh, wrap this kind of seed with fabric, it is easier working with fabric than with vinyl. With leather, it is almost the same as vinyl. And I got that piece. You can see it. You can see how many notches did I put. That piece that is on top, it have a half inch thickness form. That one right there. The rest, except the insert, that is at a sway too, have a half inch thickness form. Then I will put a piping in there. And it have an orange uh, piping. And I will do it this way right here. I don't want the piping to go all the way. Then I will just cut it right here. Like I said, you can cut it all the way. Just like that. It's more than enough. I just put that notch together, making sure. Then I start sewing right here. Take your time, guys, especially if you don't uh, have experience uh, doing this or you are new on this trade. Take your time. One little mistake. Uh, maybe will require a lot of time to uh, uh, repair that mistake. And I got that piece. I am not going to show you the other side. I already have the right and left side and I already have this insert. I will put a stitch all around I recommend you if you are using a half inch, put a stitch all around. You don't want that material to stretch. Uh, no, you don't want that. So put a stitch all around. Then I, I will start uh, sewing all those pieces. And I will start with the right side. You have notches those stitches 
that notch has to match with those one. What happens if the notch doesn't match for a quarter of an inch or one eighth of an inch? I will say, all the pain, what are you doing? If you are doing a dashboard or door panel or center console in that notch, it doesn't match by one eighth or a quarter of an inch, it will affect that job. But if you are doing a bent stitch or other seat in that notch, it doesn't match by, uh, let's say, at a quarter of an inch, most of the time, it's not going to affect the job. All depends what are you doing. I recommend you always to do your best to match those notches or those marks. And same thing right here. I made some split because that right there is not a straight. And, and I don't want to force the top piece too much because if I force it, it will create a wrinkle on the bottom. If we create a wrinkle on the bottom, there is not a, a material for a pullet or put a hand rim on that area or velcro, nothing at all. So that's what I'm doing all this. So I got that center piece with the piece that is going on the side. And then I will make a cut right here, a small cut. Same thing right here, small. right there. So, this is making sure. I'm sewing. And I'll make a small cut right here because I'm going to I don't know if you can see it, but that uh, cut that I made, it has to match too. And you don't have to for no, force none of those pieces to make a match. Because if you force it one of them, it will look weird. It will look crooked. It will affect that area. So you just keep sewing. A little by little. Now we're cutting right here and sending right the both end. This is the back piece, and we have this piece in there. The part piece will be all at a vinyl. This is a vinyl. Ox vinyl. And same thing right here. For all of these pieces, I make a pattern. For all of them. Then I will fold this material in there. And it is way easy to make it now than make it when the whole cover is sewing together. That corner I just folded. And I will do this all around. Not around the bottom part of the back rest uh, part. This is the part that it will be on the front of the bottom cushion. I am not going to show you the, how you can make the cushion. It is way easier than this. 
so I'm going to skip that part. But I'm pretty sure you're going to figure out how to do it. It is easier. I will put a stitch right there. Why I am putting that stitch? Well, because I want that part to fold it. And I will put this velcro in there. Then I will put another stitch, like quarter of an inch away from the first stitch, all the way across. Okay, now we're going to put a stitch all around the velcro. All around. Because the cushion have another piece of velcro and I will just lay them on top of this one. That's the way the cushion will hold. With velcro. And it's done. So this is the part that will be all around around the back rest. I made them on two pieces. If you don't have enough material, you can make them on four pieces. Just to have you have to be sure where those pieces will meet. See that mark? And this will go right there. You have to make sure with a uh, side for that vinyl is the front because the front is not the same as the back. I will put a stitch right there. That is stitch in that area is one inch inside from that edge and right there is two inches why I am putting that stitch you might ask by me putting that stitch it is way easier because I'm going to fold that part I'm going to put another stitch holding that uh, lifting material four inch uh, four finger and this will go like this to hold this cover uh, to the frame or to the metal or the seat I will put a wire inside the listing and hold it with hand ring You might ask why 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 are you using white listing? Why you don't put a a black material for the pool? You are right. I should use a, a black material, but this part right here it won't show. You won't see it. Customer won't see it. Won't see it without putting the cushion. Now imagine when I put the cushion in there. It's not going to expose that white material. So I got that part. I will trim this. Uh, and there is. So now I can start sewing that piece that is going to be around. Take your time this. If you see those notches, 
are not matching is because maybe you're cutting wrong or you are pulling one of those pieces. Don't pull none of those pieces. And I will start sewing a little by little, taking a half inch with my machine. A little by little, and you can see him on there. So crucial this part because all those mark it has to match. You see that notch? I forgot to put that notch on the other pieces of material. But I can see that little mark in there. Like right here, there is the mark, but I forgot to cut it. Same thing right here. And I split those in. And I keep sewing. You saw me uh, sewing half of this part already. I am not going to show you the whole process, but you can already have an idea how you can do it. And you see that part doesn't have a phone either. Okay, you can see that thread right here, T270. It's a thick thread. All the time when I use this thread, I have to adjust my machine. Um, I think I have a video. I think so. I think so. Oh, I will make a video how you can adjust your machine when you are going to use a thick thread. And I am using a double stitch guy. And I want to see if it's possible for the underneath no it doesn't see it it doesn't show that top thread you're gonna see it one more time no it doesn't expose that guy that I am using for the top stitch I can use two for the uh, frame stitch you have a guy on that on the left and he and you have a guy on the right side of the needle. And I keep sewing a little by little, take your time. You know, when you are using a different color thread, the vinyl, you can see any mistake from far away, like right here. If you don't put that tap stitch straight, customer can see that mistake from far away because it is a different color thread and I keep sewing taking my time doing one and do it right if you don't if you having a hard time putting my top stitch straight uh, this is what you need you need to practice it this is all what you need. Practice it to put a nice top stitch or frame stitch. Practice it. And that will take you to the, I put in my nice top stitch. Look that. Look beautiful. I like it. And it had the stitch all around that part. So then I will make a split right here because same thing right here. And then I will fold it with one stitch. I will cut the corner. This is one way how you can do it right there. If you don't want a bump in the corner, just cut it. See? But you have to know how to cut it too.
So this, you can see the part, that is, those part will be a uh, match. There is a velcro underneath, I mean a, a white lifting underneath, so I have to be careful. Same thing right here. And I just trim that part. You can see, it. you can have a, an idea how that part will look. So this is ready. I'm going to put the, the back piece. It will be the same thing. I'm going to do it this way. Some people sew the first half and then they sew the other half. I just do it this way. And to be honest, uh, I don't want to say this is the right way how you can do it. Um, because a lot of people do it in a different way and it works for them. So I will say, uh, to me, this is the easy way how to do it. Let's start from one end and keep sewing, keep sewing till the other end. When I start doing a posture, I start from the center. So one half, then I switch to the other half. I think most of the people are starting that way, sewing, starting sewing from the center. And I just keep sewing all the rest. And there is, you saw me sewing this uh, cover. Now it is time to take it to the table and start mounting this cover. You can see uh, right there, I put a, a one layer or a quarter of an inch foam on the top. Do I have to put a foam right there? Not really, believe me, not really. The foam is in good condition, but I just put them on there. I didn't put all the way because the bottom and the cushion right there or that cover right there have a half inch foam. That's why I didn't put it. But I will sand it right here a little bit because I can see a bump in there. I will put a plastic all around. I always recommend you on this kind of seat, put a plastic on it. Will be uh, easier with plastic because other way will be uh, giving you, will give you a hard time putting that cover. It's plastic that cover is better and easier. Okay. Okay. Let's see how this will look. It will fit. It has to fit this cover in there. It has to fit. I create, a, I make a template and this is a vinyl. So I don't see any problem for this to fit good in that seat. So you can put them on the floor. It is uh, easier to put the seat on the floor and start going a little by little, a little by little. Keep going with the cover a little by little, but 
keep looking. If you see that cover is crooked, fix it. Fix it. And I can see this cover. I will put those wire on the bottom. He have it before. He have it before. Some seed uh, come with velcro. This come with wire. So it's way easier with wire than velcro. Because you can pull it a lot. I will make a small cut that way the wire can go all the way through. So you got the cover right, the cover looks straight. So now you have to uh, put it with hand ring in case if you see that cover, um, it's like crooked or have a lot of wrinkle. If you have a wrinkle on the sway, uh, don't apply hot air in there but you can apply the steamer you can put the steamer to try to eliminate those wrinkles okay I will try to use this uh, hand ring plier I have a different hand ring plier but I see this one is not working there so I will use a manually hand ring plier. And it's this. You can buy all this tool in Amazon. Any apostle supplies in the United States will have it. If they don't have it, I'm pretty sure they will order it for you. See that wrinkle? That wrinkle has to come out. In case if it doesn't come out, I will put the steamer, making sure to remove the wrinkle. You can see it is coming out little by little. So this way easier. You can see way easier putting this cover. Then sewing. I will say sewing in this. Uh, not the hard, yeah, sewing it is the hardest part. And cutting those templates. I put a wire on the back too. And right here I can use uh, this hand ring plier, pneumatic hand ring plier. Okay, so, uh, I am pretty sure uh, you want to see this part. Yes, see that part? Put them in there. And then the front part will be on top. Way easier. With zipper, we require uh, a little bit of time, but it's not a big deal too. And I will put the steamer right here. Uh, there is a small, small ring coming there. And I just put the steamer and that uh, will remove the wrinkle. It will remove easily. This is the bottom cushion. I didn't show you how you can make it because it is easier. I concentrated on the rest of this seat cover. And there are those bucket seat done. That accent make it look beautiful, those seat cover. 
if you are making a seat cover like this or similar like this and at the end it doesn't come like the way you were expecting, it's because maybe you made something wrong. And first thing that you should think is what you made wrong. Try to find the mistake that you made. When you find your mistake, fix it. And if it is, it is the first time that you are making a seat cover like this or similar, believe me, first job, it doesn't come like the way we were expecting. And it is understandable. We don't have experience when we are doing something that we never done it before. But only by doing it, we will get that experience. So my friend, practice it. Practice it will uh, make you get experience and learn it by your mistake. That's the way. So thank you so much for watching this video. And this video I didn't show you how you can make the template, how you can cut the vinyl or the material. I didn't show you that. I concentrated most on the sewing and mounting this cover. And it takes time to do this. Take time. So thank you so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And see you soon on the next video. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day today, my friend. Thank you.